Hi there, welcome to the cloud stuff. Today we're going to be talking about Kubernetes and we're going to deploy a WordPress, WordPress application under the Kubernetes using only the Kubernetes infrastructure and a couple of Docker images. Right here, what you see, I have two deployments of one of the application WordPress and one of the MySQL is the, the image you can see right here, MySQL 5.6, all right? As is the WordPress Docker image, all right? So now we have the pods, replica sets, and right here I have the services, okay? I'm later gonna show it as deploy as a node port right here. How did I do that? I have you for deploying that under the having my SQL under Kubernetes, you, you must create a persistent volume claim, which remains once the once the the, the application the pods are restarted. So if I restart my application or scale or whatever, it's gonna persist the data there. So there won't be any problem. Not right here, I'm going to get, get the AP address. Okay, let's get in here. So I have WordPress installed, I just have to continue. I'm gonna show you the YAMLs. First, I create my secret generator. That's, a, I put a password for that, which I use inside the name and the namespace. For, for the name I use from, from this name, I can get this password, literally. All right, for the MySQL, I create a service to expose my deployment, WordPress, all right? And uh, for that, I create a persistent volume claim. I put two gigabytes here as storage, read it right once, all right? That's my persistent one, very, very simple definition of it. Okay, about the service, I don't have to go further. So you can, uh, th this access directly, the, this instance, the, the, the WordPress will access. My deployment of the MySQL, you use the, per the volume as a persistent volume claim, the claim name, which is the same. You can see from here, the same persistent volume claim. And I have my mount here, I, when I use, I have to indicate this folder where it's gonna mount everything of MySQL and the port, okay. And here, uh, secret key reference for the password, remember? The key is passed for my SQL pass, it came back here. My SQL pass and password, okay. For the WordPress, okay, I also have a persistent volume claim for that. I get here my DB, WordPress DB password for the deploy it, and the same secret key reference this is the, how I def, define my MV virus, all right? One is this, and one is this, this other. Okay, this is the Docker image. Okay, this is the type of the strategy, wherever I have a service to expose as there's, all right? I don't use this service as load balancer. In this case, I use this, this one here that I indicate the node port for that. Deploying is like the type node port. And here's everything deployed. The persistent volume claims I already shown, it's already shown. And here is my service and here is, here is the, the WordPress installing, the WordPress running. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.